What's going on, guys? It's the It Doesn't Matter podcast. We are going to do the 10-minute rundown of the latest things in professional wrestling. Guys, let's talk about Jinder Mahal. He is trending for the past two weeks. He was in the ring with the most electrifying man in all entertainment, The Rock. And now, this upcoming Monday, he's going to be in the main event going against your world heavyweight champion, Seth freaking Rollins. And even Tony Khan is taking some shots against him. Guy, what do you think about Jinder Mahal? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Guy? Which guy? Your modern day Maharaja. Hey, well, what you think about Jinder Mahal? I always liked Jinder. Something about his character was always like fascinated me. It, it's it harkens back to the old cheeky type days where you had that heel, but like he says, he you're using his nationality kind of as like the basis for him being a villain. When why why does it even matter that he's um, Punjabi? Like that shouldn't make you a villain right away. What Tony Khan was saying that yes, he was off TV or basically hadn't won a, a single match in what almost a year and automatically gets a title shot. Yes, it's WWE. You can do whatever you want. Sports entertainment records don't matter, but it I, doesn't matter. But I kind of agree. It's like, dude, you were like managing a, a, a tag team and you haven't done anything all year. So why should you be the first one to get a title shot? Don't you know you're not going to win anyway, John? I like Jinder Mahal. Back when he first won the WWE Championship. Yes. You know? Like, we're all behind him. We're all behind this dude. And, you know, you know, let's flash forward past Jinder Mahal a little bit to Randy Orton. I've said it before. This guy is the most generous person in the entire world of professional wrestling. He's lost the World Heavyweight Championship to guys like Jinder Mahal. To another darker brown-skinned gentleman, Mark Henry. This guy loses the world title to anyone at any time for any reason. But Jinder Mahal... It's good to see him back in the picture. He is a former WWE champion. He should be in the mix a little bit, even if his run was considered a failed one. Even if at the time we wanted Shinsuke Nakamura to win the championship. It was a good thing for his time. It reminds me of the old days that I don't even remember because I never watched them. But, you know, Stan Stasiak winning the world title. Why did he win the world title? Why did superstar Billy Graham win it for nine months? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Answer that one for me. But... Uh, I liked it. I like seeing Jinder Mahal back in the mix. He should be. He has uh, the record for it. So let him have at it, Dom. All right. What's your thoughts on that, Dom? I believe uh, he's a good challenger. He's a new challenger for Seth Rollins. Yes, they have history from the NXT days and whatnot. But, hey, he could be a top villain right now. He could be that guy. Everybody's talking about CM Punk, Cody Rhodes, Drew McIntyre, or whatever. Don't forget about Jinder Mahal. Don't hinder gender, baby. Don't hinder gender. Oh, well. Due to his gender. That's it. Next All right, topic. our next topic is AEW, the new WCW. Guys, AEW has a star-loaded roster. They just signed the virtuoso Deanna Perrazzo. The women's division is picking up. Do you feel that AEW is going, going the WCW route? John, you take the lead on that Absolutely one. not, you fool. There is no way in hell AEW is a new WCW because AEW is going to succeed, brother. AEW is going to succeed where WCW never even reached the top shelf. That's where the cookies are kept. That's where all the good stuff is kept. AEW is going to reach that WCW. Not touched at one time. But what you just said about them signing new people. This is your example? This is the person you're shooting out to? Deanna Parazzo? Who the heck is Deanna Parazzo? Nothing. <laughs> Abel, wow. what do you think about this AEW, WCW nonsense? I, I don't think it's not even close to WCW. It's a completely different um, generation and completely different company. We're actually getting backing from the, comp from the uh, network companies this time. They're not trying to shut them down. They actually want them to um, continue growing because they're helping their network actually get better ratings and better sponsors. Well, and I looked up, and I hate looking up fucking spoilers for some reason, but I looked it up anyway. They actually helped grow the 18 to 35 demo, which is our demo, guys. <coughs> We're the ones buying the products, buying from their commercials. So, yeah, WCW, eh, AEW, yes. Dom. <laughs> well, Tony Khan, don't be like Eric Bischoff. Oh, that puts some butts in the seats because Monday night, Jinder Mahal is going against Seth Rollins on the USA Network. Make sure you tune in. All right, guys, next topic. Where is Mer Mercedes Monet signing? Is she going to Impact? Is she going or TNA now, or is she going to AEW? I'll tell you exactly where Mercedes Monet is going. Somewhere where Deanna Parasa would never go. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> All right, Mercedes Monet. It looks like she's going to AEW allegedly, but where should she go? I mean, should she go back to WWE? Why? You know, they they're they're rocking and rolling right now. Their top stars are Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley. Where did the Sasha Banks fit in? Not right there. I mean, could she come in and be a contender? You know what? They built up. I, I like Nia Jax being rolled into the mix uh, the other night on Raw. Um, Mercedes Monet, could she 
soup up the AEW women's division? Absolutely she could. Yes. What would she do in TNA? Not a damn thing. Abel? Nah, I, I think whoever's going to give her the bag, because that's where she's going. She's She doesn't care about um, putting on the greatest matches of all time right now. I think she's already shown that she is a commodity. She is one of the best women wrestlers of all time. No, she's not Charlotte. Charlotte, for me, is number one. Sasha's A1 or A2. But she's just trying to get that money, money, money. <laughs> Don't you dare. Dom. Dom. I think she's going to AEW. The women's roster is finally picking up a little bit, and she got some brand new competition, and she could be the face to run the place. And there's also another free agent that we need to see. Wendy Richter! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. The Rock made his return last week on Monday Night Raw. He said he wanted to sit at the head of the table. Do you want to see him take on the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber, or will we see him at WrestleMania? Man, a match like that does not need to go to the Elimination Chamber. Yes, Dave LaGreca. Cody needs to finish the story, but fuck his story. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Let's go get that bag. The most electrifying man in all of entertainment with the head of the table. Now, do you want to see it for a title, or do you just want to see... As your new tribal chief. We already know who the real tribal chief is. And it's not. It's not Roman. It's Lady Tapa. <laughs> I, I think there's going to be something going on where they show that The Rock was an elder. And something's going to be screwy with the family. But it, it's not going to happen to Mania. I think they are going to go with Cody. But that's not what I want. I want The Rock versus Roman. John? I mean, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> at Mania. Sorry, I mean, you... I want the best of the best of the best at the best show yes. of the year. Yes. Allegedly, traditionally, the granddaddy of them all. Um, the Rock versus Roman Reigns. I mean, you can make great arguments either way for it. So if you have The Rock and Roman Reigns at uh, Elimination Chamber in Australia, you can have The Rock sending a modern, uh, you know, attendance record, a gate record for Australia because that's probably easy to do considering how nothing ever happens in Australia, <laughs> pro wrestling wise. So The Rock can make claim to that if he doesn't want to push uh, Cody Rhodes out of the way. Yeah. I also don't think The Rock cares if he pushes Cody Rhodes out of the way because The Rock has made reservations on this spot. For many, many years now, and it's time that he's cashing in because it's convenient to him. Um, what does Cody Rhodes do? Cody Rhodes can finish his story at any time. The dude works all the time. He is the Iron Man for 2023. He wrestled the most matches. Did he win the most matches? Probably, too. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but uh, what do we do with Cody Rhodes? You can do anything with Cody Rhodes. The Rock is a limited time offer is a limited opportunity so you go with it so will you go with the rock versus roman reigns at wrestlemania yes yes hey he also mentioned it at young rock a match like that only belongs at wrestlemania dom and as for me has to be on the grandest stage of them all wrestlemania your tribal chief and the most electrifying man in all entertainment the rock night two in philadelphia <sighs> That <laughs> I'm already getting goosebumps because where's, where's that money sign? <laughs> and our final topic, TNA is back. It's been TNA for the longest time to us. It would never impact us. It's always been TNA. Yeah. And it's like that that bug, that roach that's being in the house that you try to kill. TNA will not die. TNA is still here. I'm happy for TNA. They have the hard to kill pay-per-view coming up this upcoming Friday. And guys, any thoughts on TNA? I have not watched in a while, but I <laughs> <laughs> I've I think who's who's the new champ right now? Uh Alex, Alex Shelley, Shelley. The heavyweight champ. Yeah, I think we seen him back in 08, back at uh lockdown, lethal lockdown. Was it lethal lockdown? Lockdown, yeah. Yeah, that was when Smojo won his first title, so as long as that company's still going, I'll, I'll support it. So I'm going to start watching soon. So keep it going. That's the first lie ever told on the IDM 10-minute rundown. <laughs> you ain't watching TNA wrestling. <laughs> TNA is back, baby. And you know what? Just like Scott DeMora said, they called it TNA anyway. So you know what? They've had developed a good reputation. They have their reputation back. Impact Wrestling did a great job. They're back to TNA now. They're going to do a great job. And you know what? The sky's the limit for TNA. Ooh, yeah. Guys. It's been a pleasure. That's our 10 minute rundown. See you next time. Boom!
But we have three seconds left, Dom. Good. Boom. Oh. 